only on CTM this morning. We've got a first look at Kanye West's very revealing new interview with David Letterman. The rapper details his struggle with mental illness on the new season of the Netflix show. I love this title. My next guest needs no introduction. It's a topic that Kanye rarely discusses. Letterman asked him how bipolar disorder affects his brain. Define it. Uh, f for me, uh, what is the mechanism that is malfunctioning or is taking a break in your brain? Do you know? I wouldn't be able to explain that as much, just, you know, because I'm not a doctor. I can just tell you what I'm feeling at the time. And I feel a heightened connection <sighs> with the universe when I'm ramping up. It is a health issue. This is like a sprained brain, like having a sprained ankle. And if someone has a sprained ankle, you're not gonna push on him more. Right. With us, once our brain gets to a point of spraining, people do everything to make it worse. Now, Kanye West says he is under a doctor's care, that he uses alternative treatment methods, but he thinks medication may work for others with bipolar disorder. Our Dr. Tara Narula is with us now. A lot of people, Tara, applauding him for speaking out, mm -hmm. saying that it could certainly help others. Did you understand what he was saying? You agree with what he's saying? I am applauding him and every other celebrity that comes out and talks about their mental health yeah. illness. Yeah. Because this is a real struggle for so many Americans. One in five Americans, our husbands, our children, our friends are dealing with this. And many of them are suffering in silence. They're suffering with shame and guilt. They're suffering alone. And they're not getting the care and the treatment that they need. And, and you can't see mental illness. You cannot, and that's health. part yes. of the issue, I think. It's not a tumor or a mass that you can see. It's not a plaque in a heart artery that I can show you. But the pain is real, and some have described the pain as being worse than the most worst physical pain you can possibly imagine. Well, you can How see. do you identify it? What are the typical system, uh, symptoms, Tara? Well, bipolar is basically a mood disorder that's characterized in fluctuations in mood, energy, activity, and your ability to really function on a daily basis. And it swings between these very high highs, mania or hypomania, and these low lows or depression. Yeah. And it affects about 2.5% of the American population. It can be often misdiagnosed for many years. And when it's not treated properly, it can wreak havoc on a pa patient or a person's financial life, their personal life, their work life. And it can be an associated with an increased risk of suicide. We know that about 10 to 15% of bipolar patients die with suicide. But again, bravo to Kanye. You know, mm -hmm. I think. It's hard to explain, as he said, what it feels like that to be battling this. That brain brain analogy I thought was very graphic and interesting. It was. And I read something last night that somebody wrote, behind my smile is a breaking heart, behind my laugh I'm falling apart, behind my eyes are tears at night, and behind my body is a soul trying to fight. Mm -hmm. These wow. are warriors nice. that are fighting every day. That is very lonely. We need to empathize and support them in this country better than we do. Tara, okay. thank you. Well put. The new season of My Next Guest Needs No Introduction with David Letterman premieres tomorrow on Netflix. For names of mental health providers, you can call the Mental Health Services Helpline at 1-800-662-HELP.